update on the worm die off. I've done everything I can to make their lives better. I even changed up their food. I found some hotter compost that had a little bit more nutrients in it. Not too hot, not enough to burn them, but enough to uh, give them a little bit of a boost in nutrients and heat to kind of warm up the bed a little bit because we had a cold snap a few weeks ago. <laughs> and then um, I put the metal back on top but not touching. That way it can still retain some moisture and heat, kind of reflect it back down, but will um, also keep the dogs off it, which is the most important part. That's what they were supposed to do before, but they ended up hurting the farm a little bit. Earlier today, I sifted some castings out. Really good stuff. It was a little dry, so some powdery, non-casting material came through. It's kind of filling the gaps, but the majority of that is just straight worm castings. It's beautiful. Beautiful stuff. It smells really good. You wouldn't think dirt would smell good, but you know people who work with this stuff, they all say kind of the same thing. It just has a good, earthy smell to it. Real good stuff. Just crumbles. Even when you squish it into a ball, it just crumbles right back to the same fine grain it was. All right, still continue our investigation into why the worms are dying. Um, got here today, great. I mean, it looks great. There's no dead, no more new dead worms on top. And um, I dug down in there a little bit in a couple spots. And the worms that are in there, are super active and happy and not balled up. They're not, um, they don't look stressed. They're not coming to the top and crawling around aimlessly like they're dying. They actually look like they're feeding. I think it helped yesterday that I added some more active compost to the top because they're working just at the base of that, which um, is really giving me a lot of peace of mind because I was getting really stressed the last few days about this. I'm actually taking some of the, a sample of the active bed to, um, the university here in town to get it tested um, to see if there's any pathogens in it or any any sort of compounds in it that may be stressing out the worms because I've done I've gone through everything from temperature to moisture to um, you know oxygen to feed to basically any any variable I could think of that may be the issue and um, I haven't found anything yet that stands out as the issue or has made a big difference. Except for maybe letting more oxygen flow in there has made a little bit of a difference. There's they, the, the bed seems a lot healthier. It smells a lot better. Um, it wasn't smelling too much before, but I noticed a little bit of funk the other day when it was extra moist and I had the metal just sitting on top. I think it was starting to go a little bit anaerobic in certain spots. Um, anyway, I'm going to test the active bed where the worms are living now. I'm going to test a, have them test some castings and just see what our, you know, what chemical makeup is and how nutritious it is. And then I'm going to head out here to the compost pile. So mainly we were pulling from, I'll head out here. Oh. So the main, for the last several weeks, the main feed has been coming off of this pile. Um, this pile is old, about three years old. And um, I tested the temperature yesterday, and it's only about 85 to 90 degrees on the inside. So it's not inactive, but it is um, not as active as it could be. This one, on the other hand, in fact, these three kind of humps right here must be all from the same pile. This one's very active. This one's sitting at about 140. And so... This is where I started pulling from yesterday and adding that new food onto the onto the worm bed and it made a pretty big difference. I'm actually gonna sift these compost piles down. I'm gonna grab my quarter inch screen, sift to the same fine grain the worm bed is.
works. Kind of a full bag, but more. I imagine they want more than less. All right, there's all my samples: compost one, compost two, active bed, and castings. Now just take them off to the university and see how they do. I'm hoping to get some good results back on the castings. I'm really excited to finally get those tested. Um, I've had some tested before, but they were castings I didn't produce with this current feedstock. So this is the first real scientific testing I'm doing with this feedstock castings.